And welcome back everyone to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain and friendly neighborhood metal rooster, Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today. And in this video, we're going to be continuing with our playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Now, in the last episode, we began our conquest of the Elite Four at Blueberry Academy here. And we defeated the first of its Elite Four, Lacey, the fairy user. And uh, she definitely put an ass whooping on us. But nonetheless, we were successful and we got that W. So now we're going to face face off against the second of the Elite Four. That will be Crispin, the fire user. Hang on, i got to take my hoodie off. All right, we're good. Uh, now, before we get started, uh, I would... Um, uh, would like to give a major shout out to the Michigan Wolverines for winning the national title on Monday. Uh, you know, today is Wednesday, so it's been a couple days now. And uh, yeah, they you know they completed the mission. You know, and so and like I said, natural champions. Congratulations! It's like my best friend, who is the uh, queen of Michigan. Uh, said to me when Mike Sanrasil caught that uh, amazing undercover pick in the f late in the fourth, she was just saying with tears, "Oh my God, we're gonna win the national title! Oh my God, we're gonna win the national title!" And it was it was so uh, it was it was such a great moment to see. But you know the realization of a long journey for that team who battled everybody and everything. So, uh, again, congratulations to the national champions, and go blue. And also, if you like this content, like my content and want to continue to support, feel free to hit the like button, drop a comment down below, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop, and, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button. You know, I would love to be able to interact with all of you more, and I would love for you all to join the raid and welcome to the village. Let me take a quick swig. All right. Now that I've uh, gotten... Uh, I, I've, I've gotten... My thirst has been quenched for now. Let's, uh, let's do a little bit of a league business here. A league club business here. We're going to contribute some BP. Okay. New designs for remodeling. As you can see, I've done some work, and uh, we got up to 2,500. So uh, we're going to contribute 400 to Filbert. Ra -da 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 -da. You have reached Filbert of the Art Club. We thank you for supporting our club's initiatives. Please allow me to assist you by opening new, colorful opportunities for your club room. I will expand the options available to you for when you wish to update your club room's look. The dark and fancy looks are now available for renovating your club room. Alright, again. Alright. This one's uh, time flow, so we're going to contribute again. You contribute 4,000 BP to Filbert and Art Club. Ra -da 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 -da. I'm not going to, you know... The classic and futuristic, futuristic looks are now available for renovating your club room. All right, let's again. Again, again. I got a new one. Oh, the de theme is decadence, and you will following new look will be available for decorating. The gorgeous look. All right. Thank you for supporting our club's initiatives. We'd be delighted to be of service. Yeah, you, you know, you, you know, you know the thing. Yeah, you look gorgeous, darling. All right. Do you need a smart speaker? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we do. Let's get a smart speaker in here. And we are going to change the look of the club room in this video. Absolutely. I'm reaching Halbert's phone. Yeah. Props for supporting the music club. Looks like you've worked over, forked over enough BP, meaning we're all good to send you that speaker. Someone will be along in, with it in two shakes. 
Just chill like a slow king till it gets there for you. You got it, yeah? The smart speaker? Nothing better than blasting some bops, am I right? If you want more tracks, you know where to keep sending your BP. Alright, so we're gonna go back over here again. We're gonna... And, I, and as I said before, doing the, uh, the, the quests and building up your, your points, there's another purpose to them, but I will not address that until later. Okay, check out our outdoor adventure album, town tunes, famous destinations, Kitakami. So we've opened up a lot more. Okay, we'll, we'll add all the music. We'll get all the music. Contributed 100 BP to Allegro in the Music Club. Sup, Albert. Thanks for sending that hard-earned BP our way again. I got you covered, music fan. You can listen to our new tracks on your smart speaker now. You can now listen to more songs on the smart speaker in the club room. Okay. All right. Uh, town Tunes. Contribute 100 BP to support this club. What's up, Albert? Thanks for sending that harder and VP our way again. I got you covered, music. Yeah, he, uh, he pretty much says the same thing again. All right, I'll do it again. Famous Destinations album. All right, and like I said, I don't need to repeat that again. And I do want to say, and I, I probably said this in a, in a previous video, I am thoroughly convinced that they're going to announce a black and white um, uh, remake in February when for the Pokemon Day Direct. I, I, I just see it happening. All right. Okay, and then I think that's it for the music. Check out our special songs album. Yeah, we can do it. Alright, ro da 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 Sup, Albert? Thanks for sending that harder in BP our way again. Okay, got you covered. You now listen to songs. Alright, so now we're going to change the look of the club room. Because I think that's it for the music. Yep. So pretty much just the ba the uh, the baseball club stuff where we can change how we throw it. I I'm, I'm content with how with my throwing style because I put the ninja the ninja style there. So let's remodel our room. Thank you for supporting our club's initiatives. We would be delighted to be of service. So I believe you're interested in changing the look of, the, of your room of your room. What are you envisioning? Something... Let's do something dark. Your design sense is impeccable. I'll be over at once to commence the work. Bang, 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 clang, clang, shing! The renovation is complete. Please immerse yourself in our artful design. Ooh. I like this. I like it a lot. Although it did take out the machines, though. Is a smart speaker what would you like to do? Let's take a look here. Famous destinations. Laventia, Asado. Oh, this is stuff from... Um, da, 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 uh, back in uh, Paldea. My bad. Check out the Special Songs album. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hola, ciao, and, bo and bonjour. That is, uh, what's her name? Iono. Castelia City. Yep, Castelia City from Black and White. Jubilee City. Academy of Life.
a polar biome. Okay, so I think we're done goofing off here. I look at the slugma in the, the fireplace. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the dark look for now. All right, let's head on out. We're going to, let's go deal with Crispin now. All right, we're going to head to the terrarium. Now, we are kind of going out of order a little bit because if you look at the rankings for the, the Blueberry uh, Elite Four, Crispin is four, Amaris is three, Lacey is two, and Drayton, Drayton is one. All right, so we're going to head over this way. It is nighttime in the biome. Right, we're just going to ride on over there because Crispin's uh, plaza is here in the savanna biome here that we are at. Oops, I did not mean to hit that execute. We'll just deal with him real quick. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm not even going to because I got my team set ready to deal with uh, Crispin. So as you can see, I got... Lantern and Golurk uh, hold, uh, as our starters. Garchomp, Lucario, Dragonite, and Gardevoir. I gotta be careful with Lucario just because he is a Steel type. All right, so I don't think I had as much of a problem in Scarlet with Crispin as I did with Lacy. I think Lacy he put a whooping on me regardless of what style that I was using. Oh, uh, that was not cool. Alright, well, am I? Did I go past it? Should be over here. Oh, it's right there in front of me. Duh! I'm a moron. My bad. <laughs> There's like right there in front of me. It's like Mushu and uh, Disney's Mulan. You missed! How could you miss? It was standing right in front of you! Alright, so let's... All right, we're going to heal up here, and then we're just going to, and we'll begin. Hang on, I'm going to just, okay, good, because you have to have 50 BP, and I'm like, did I just spend it all in, oh, right beforehand? Okay. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Halbert, right? One of the BP Elite Challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? Well, I don't want to pay, but we'll do it. You paid 50 BP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Hey, Crispin, an order's just come in for you. Coming right up. Oh, hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're Halbert, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at a nice simmer over here. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taken on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school? Now that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. I should warn you though, my trial is no cakewalk. My Elite Trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich! I, I thought we were Pokemon battling, not, not cooking. 
And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it will have me breathing flames. I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? But you can't just, you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Are you ready to take on my elite trial, Halbert? I'm ready. Sweet. Give me a hot minute to get everything set up. All right. He's got his picnic set set up. So you just got to talk to everyone. First things first, negotiate with the league club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should be, that should already be a clue for what you need. Once you've got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, come give me a holler. All right then, let's start this now. Elite trial, make a super spicy sandwich. All right, I'll... I'll play ball. Let's see here. Okay, so I do have a guide up on what we're, we're going to need. So we need five ingredients. We need onion, chili sauce, jalapeno, chorizo, and mustard. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to get... So we're going to get this, defeat this girl for some potato salad. Because, you know, we need something to, a, to barter with. I've got some potato salad if you want. You'll have to beat me in battle to get it, though. Sure, I'll battle you. I'll mash you like a potato. Bring it. You are challenged by Julian, the student. Ooh, okay. This should be good. Alright, I'm going to use this on camera up. And then... Hopefully this doesn't hurt Lantern, but... Goodbye! Opposing camera up fainted. Go lurk, use Earthquake. Oh, crap. The only person I heard is my own. Damn it. And I just knocked out my own lantern. Oh, I'm an idiot. That was dumb. That was dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb, dumb. And I can't use any... Okay. We're going to have to do something else. I forgot Electros does... Electros does have, um, freaking, uh, levitate. God forbid. We'll use Dragon Rush. And then I'll use Hammer Arm. And skadoosh! Time to hit him with a dragon rush! Bam! You're done. You defeated Julie and the student. Excuse me. Yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. Oh, uh, you talk to food? My potato salad says it wants to go with you. Okay. There's something to re so restorative about carrying po potato salad around, don't you think? Did she just heal my Pokemon because I'm an idiot? Whoops.
Uh, well, that's an ingredient. What about my damn Pokemon? Oh, no, I don't want to give up the trial. Alright, I guess she did heal my Pokemon. Alright, so... Next, we need to trade... So, we're going to trade... Nope, you don't have what I need. Chili sauce or ketchup. I think it's homeboy here. Let's see if you can catch, get this trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me if you got it. Potato salad? Oof, incorrect. Don't know how you came up with an answer like that. Oh, well. I guess uh, that was the wrong one. My bad. Mayonnaise. I think it was this dude. Man, I've got a hankering for some of that potato -y stuff that you eat cold, you know. I'd hand over three ingredients for you just for just a bit of it. Got any of that potato -y stuff for me? Potato salad? Yes, that's it. You won't believe how much I've been craving potato salad all day. Here you go. Three ingredients in exchange for your potato salad. All right, so we got onion, cucumber, and prosciutto. Okay. Now, let's see here. Oh, the what the question he asked was in regards to it is it's um oh, what is it? Friggin' uh, mayonnaise. That's what that's what he was asking for. Okay, we I want the chili sauce. I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about it? How about you? If you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce or ketchup? I will trade you for the chili sauce. Yeah, so right now we have... We're about to get the second of the two ingredients. So now we have onion and chili sauce. So we need the last three, which is jalapeno, chorizo, and mustard. Okay, so I think we need to talk to, May to Mayo Lady over here. Oh, that was the potato salad. You. Do you, want, do you want mayonnaise? I'll share some with you, but only if you defeat me. Sure, I'll battle you. Oh, it's May on now. How long have you been saving that joke? Here we go. You are challenged by Carmela, the student. She, what are you, trembling with excitement here? Pyroar and Pyroar. Alright, uh. Hydro Pump on you. Oh, no, he made my goaler drowsy. No! Hyper voice? Doesn't affect? Oh, no. I'm about to knock out my lantern again. Damn it, I did. I'm an idiot. I need to get a better ground move. This is not helping. I knocked out my lantern again. I'm an idiot. I mayo underestimated you. Oh my god. Enough of these mayo dad jokes here. Here's some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good, so spread the word. Oh god. Okay, so now that we got the mayo, we can actually talk to the other dude over here. The one that I got wrong. Here, let me heal up your Pokemon so there's no sour feeling between us. Again? That's three! Three bad mayo jokes in one setting. 
All right, we already know the answer. Ma eggs, oil, and vinegar. That would be mayonnaise. Correct. The answer is mayonnaise. You've got five-star knowledge, I see. And here's your prize. Three whole ingredients at once. All right, so... You know, I still need three more. Okay, so now we just need to check ingredients. Okay, so we got the chili sauce, we got the onion. Those are the two that we need. We just need to give, use the other ones for collateral. Broader chorizo. Oh my god, what is it with these food puns? Oh man, I want some eggs. I really, really want some eggs. If you got any eggs, I'll trade you something that'll really broaden your chorizo. I'm not going to go there. Not going to say it. Woohoo! Way to make the chorizo. Oh my god, have you guys been saving these bad puns for like ages? Well, we got the chorizo, thank God, but... All right, good. No more bad puns. All right, trade vinegar for... So, we need, the, we need the mustard now. And that'll be number four. I think I brought too much marmalade. And I really don't need all this mustard either. Would you be willing to trade your vinegar for either my marmalade or my mustard? I'll trade for the mustard. Thanks, here you go. You handed over a, cur a curd of vinegar and received a bottle of mustard. All right. And this is the last we need, the jalapeno. Well, I'm in a fine pickle, I am. I'm missing two whole ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you front me some prosciutto and olive oil. Here you go. Yes, you've got the real big. You got a real big heart, you know. He handed over your prosciutto and olive oil, and received the helping of jalapeno. And there, yep. And that should be it. I think we should, we have all four or all five. I mean, uh, let's see, we got the onion, got the chili sauce. Got the chorizo, mustard, jalapeno. Yep, these are the five we need. All right, so let's go talk to Crispin here. We got what we needed. Got everything you need? Want to start making a super spicy sandwich? Sure, I want to start. I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to something extra spicy then. All right, we'll see how bad... Onion, chorizo, and jalapeno... And then we need the chili sauce and mustard. And we'll use a fiery pick. Alright, um, we're going to put the onion down first. Hopefully I don't do a horrible job on this. Then we'll put the jalapenos down. Yeah, Jose jalapeno on a stick. And then we'll put the chorizo on top. There we go. There we go. One more. And boom. And just throw the mag mortar pick in, and that looks actually pretty good. All done. Now that looks like a great sandwich. Even though I really can't handle super spicy stuff. 
He's got a whole bunch of mag mortars. Oh yeah, burn, baby! A Tasty Halbert original. I can tell the spicy souls of the world all agree with me. You put spicy ingredients to good use. Me, I could have handled something a bit spicier, really, but it was still good. And that means you passed my elite trial. No problem at all. Elite trial. Make a super spicy sandwich cleared. I'm going to enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Alright, so we're actually not going to battle him just yet. I need to do, do some... Uh, Adjusting on Golar because I don't want our Earthquake to be the only move he has and he knocks out every Pokemon around him. Y'all prepped and ready to take me on? No. Don't worry, I get it. Battles are like meals. The best ones take the most prep work. Alright, so let's take a look at Golurk here. Check summary. And we'll change moves to see what he's got. Mud slap. High horsepower. And I don't need dynamic punch. I really don't. Okay, so I think we're good now. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on, I, I meant to save. So we're going to do a quick save just uh, in case. Alright, so let's go. Hey, Albert, y'all prepped? Yes, I am. Coming right up. Watch out, because I'm cranking up the heat. Mm, excuse me. So, Halbert, I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? Well, I don't know. I don't know from my side of things. Kieran's the one with the problem. And it sure seems Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Yeah, he does have an angle. Yeah, everything's getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. Well, you're a cook, so you know that small stuff does matter in your prepping your meals. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah biome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. All right, you are challenged by Crispin of the Blueberry League Elite Four. Blah, 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 I cannot speak today. Okay. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. Yeah, you forgot what you're doing, dude. Good Lord. All right, uh, Hydro Pump on Rotom. And I'm pretty sure both of them have levitate, so actually, hang on. Hydro Pump on Talon Flame. And Phantom Force on Rotom. Talon Flame used Sunny Day. Okay, that's going to weaken my. Um, Water moves. Will-O-Wisp. Ah, oh, great. Lantern was burned. Oh, come on! Golurk vanished instantly. Alright, I got it. Lantern was hurt by its burn.
Let's try Thunder. Flare Blitz. This should not hurt. Nope! Oh, yeah. Good job hurting yourself, Hex. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to heal up. What the hell? You don't miss two moves in a row. What the hell's the matter with you? Golurk was hurt by the Rocky Helmet? All right. I better just full restore Lantern right now. Oops. And Phantom Force on Rotom. Lantern's burn was cured, had its HP restored. Oh, damn. Talonflame was down by the recoil. Overheat. Oh, damn. Took out my Golurk. Okay. So much for that. All right. We're going to bring out Dragonite now. Oh, excuse me. All right. Uh... And Aqua Tail on you. Oh, this should definitely hurt. It was damaged by his recoil. Wrote him uh, with the Will O Wisp again. All right. Dragonite was burned. Why the hell does he keep missing all of his attacks? God, you're really going to douse our flames if you keep using moves like that. Dragonite cures burn. Oh, thank you. And... Talonflame used Roost. Of course it did. Alright. Dragonite was burned. Take that! What? Good lord. Harsh sunlight faded. Okay, perfect. Dragonite, okay. I'm going to use Bubble Beam on Talon Flame. I'm going to use Aqua Tail on Rotom. Back with the sunny day again. Goodbye. First one gone. Again with that rocky helmet. There we go. Now Lantern takes out the other two. Alright, I'm going to have to heal Dragonite up. Send out Camera up. An Executor. Okay, that's... Alright, so... I want to take out... Whoops. Hydro Pump on Camerupt. And we're going to use a Full Restore on Dragonite. So he's now down to four, we're down to five. Wow, you would think double damage it would knock him out. Okay, and we're going to use Hurricane on Executor in a moment. Ancient Power. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh... 
use on camera up hurricane on executor oh no you did not all right that's another one down so we are now down to just three left to defeat Closing Executor used Solar Beam. Okay, I better take him out. Oh, wait, Sunny Day. That's right. Oh, crap. Send out Magmortar. Okay. Max Potion. And hurricane on you. Heat wave. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, come on. You had a citra. Uh, here we go again. Damn it. Alright. How many berries did this moron have? Okay, so we're gonna... I'm gonna bring out... How do I want to play this? I'll bring out Guard of War. I should be able to take out. So, Guard of War, I'm going to use Moonblast on Exeggutor. And I'm going to heal up my Dragonite. There we go. Gardevoir. Okay. Psy Shock. Harsh Sunlight Faded. Woo! Harvested another certain... So that's how he keeps getting all these berries, a loser. Okay, Moon Blast for you. And an Aqua Tail for you. Oh, great. He's got Sunny Day, too. Oh, no. Super, super effective, but... Oh, Flame Body, really? Pasho, that's what it was. There we go. Executor is out of the game. Send out Blaziken. Oh, I can take him out with Gardevoir. Perfect. All right. Uh, Psychic on Blaziken. Full Restore on Dragonite. Dragonite's Burn was cured. Time to terrestrialize and really turn up the heat. Go, Blaziken! Burn bright red! Blaziken happens to be one of my favorite Pokemon to uh, use, so once I get my Blaziken up, uh, or Torchic evolved to Blaziken, then I'm going to start, because uh, Blaziken and Gardevoir are my favorite team to use. Let's 
Blaziken used Stone Edge and did not work! Oh, he's got a speed boost. Alright, I want to do it on Blaziken. And then... I'm going to use Dragon Rush on Magmortar. We'll try to get him up out of here. If I have to bring in uh, Gar Gabite. No, Garchomp, I'm sorry. I had Gabite in a different game. Garchomp, then I'm going to use him to revive uh, Lantern and Golurk. Hope you're hungry because Crispin's Flaming Hot Special is coming right at you. Temper Flare. Oh, damn! Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, 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 bad. Magmor to use Heat Wave. Crap, okay. Dragon Rush. If I could at least take one of them out. There we go! Now we're in business! Huh? Wait, what happened? Where'd all that damage come from? Alrighty. Okay, so... I'm gonna bring in Garchomp. And... Do, 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 do. I'm gonna use a Max Revive on Lantern. Whoops. Oh, battle. That's what I need to do. And we'll use Dragon Rush on Blaze again. And hopefully this will do it. Focus Blast. And he missed! Goodbye! And that's a wrap. I wanted to win, but I lost. Don't hide behind your pan, dude. You good. You badass. That was a good battle. Besides, I like you. Whew, that was amazing. We cranked up the heat all the way, all the way up. Hey, Albert. I love battles, and I love cooking, because they're both so easy to understand. Well, there's a science of cooking, so, you know, I don't know if it's that easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Well, that depends on if you're just going to be a one-genre pony here. Simple, right? I don't know. But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You are really strong, Halbert. Let me see if I can transfer that burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. The Elite Force Crispin defeated. And we'll take a picture to commemorate the event. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. You obtained TM-207 Temper Flare. You put the TM-207 in your bag's TM's pocket. Spurred by desperation, the user attacks the target. This move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is crank up the heat all you want in the, the Blueberry League, Halbert.
Yo, yo, champ in the making. Ah, it's it's Mr. Ulterior Motives himself. So that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Christmas no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Christmas cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are too, are too in his own way. Oh, look who it is. Seems like things are going well with the Blueberry League. Right, Halbert? What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be di so disappointing if Halbert had gotten weaker. Dude, you are a psycho! But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Still stronger than you! Halbert, go all the way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't make it to me. <laughs> Someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite too. Okay. Alright, so with that, we now have two members of the Elite Four beaten. And we have two remaining. We're just going to heal up real quick because we did knock out three of our Pokemon here. Lantern and your other Pokemon are all better now. And it looks like your Terror Orb got charged up too. Okay, so... We still have, all the way over here, Amaris of the Elite Four. She, So she's now ranked number, f well, wait. I thought she was three. And then... Yeah, Drayton. Oh, wait, if you add Kieran, Kieran, Drayton, Lacey, Amaris, and then Crispin. Okay, yeah, that is right, number four. So if, if we're excluding Kieran, she would be the number three trainer. But if you're including Kieran, she would be number four. Okay, so that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to call it a video here. In the next video, we are going to deal with Amaris next and uh, her Steel-type Pokemon. So with that being said, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. I would love for you all to join the raid and welcome to the village. And with that being said, this is your mighty chieftain, Salty Viking, reminding you to live brave and free, fight tooth and nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend. And this metal rooster will catch you in the next episode. Later.